You're watching Wood TV 8. Nothing says happy holidays like sending it at elevation. Today, the World Cup. From the Storm Team 8 Tracking Center, this is an update on the Christmas week blizzard. Good evening, West Michigan. Here's a look at Storm Track Live. I'm meteorologist Blake Harms here with a quick update for you as we still have a few hours left in that blizzard warning. Dangerous travel continues across parts of West Michigan. You see the heavy lake effect snow continuing. It's beginning to shift south a bit. So if you're in northern Kent County, uh, up towards Sand Lake, perhaps Cedar Springs, Rockford. You're starting to see it let up, but if you're near or south of I-96, it is continuing to come down at a heavy clip, and you notice some of those snow bands are extending well inland all the way to Flint. So dangerous travel continues along I-96, U.S. 131, I-196, U.S. 31, and at times I-94. Here's a look towards downtown Grand Rapids. In the last hour, you couldn't see those buildings, so that's an improvement, but we do have uh, some times in which we can't see those yet. Uh, here's a look at Allendale's campus, Grand Valley. Visibility a touch better than yesterday, but still not good. And that snow is coming down at a heavy clip. And a look at the Ford Airport where we have uh, numerous delays and cancellations for both departures and arrivals this evening. So if you do have loved ones traveling in or if you yourself are heading out, you're going to want to check your flight status before you head to the airport. Blizzard warning remains in effect until 7 p.m. for the two uh, rows along the counties of Rose along the lakeshore that will likely be changed into an advisory of some sort running through the day on Christmas after that expires at 7. Winter storm warnings or winter weather advisories also remain in effect until 7. Temperatures in the teens, it's cold, but warmer than yesterday. 16 in Grand Rapids, 12 in Kalamazoo, 18 in Holland and Muskegon. Winds continue to gust anywhere between 25 and 35 miles per hour, which can briefly reduce visibility. Uh, wind chills as a result at or below zero, feeling like negative 10 in Sturgis, negative 3 in Kalamazoo, just 2 degrees in Grand Rapids, and negative 1 in Fremont, Ludington, and in Big Rapids. We're continuing to put uh, together the forecast for News 8 at 6, and we'll see you then in just under an hour.